About one in eight women in the United States, or 12% of the population, will develop invasive breast cancer over the course of her lifetime. In 2010, an estimated 207,000 new cases of invasive breast cancer were expected to be diagnosed in women in the U.S., along with 54,000 new cases of non-invasive breast cancer. The non-invasive breast cancer is called ductal carcinoma in situ, or DCIS. And that means that when the pathologist looks under the microscope at the cells, they see cancer in the cell, but it can't travel or spread to different parts of the body. It's stuck in the cell. Invasive breast cancer, in contrast, can travel to different parts of the body. With breast cancer, early detection is key. History has taught us that when breast cancer is detected early, there are more options available and patients generally do better. Early detection consists of screening, which is specifically a mammogram every year after the age of 40, a breast self-examination once a month, and a breast exam once a year by a physician. If you are diagnosed with breast cancer, your doctor needs to establish if you are at risk for metastasis and the tumor recurring. Based on individual risk of recurrence, whether or not the cancer has the potential to spread, your doctor will determine the best therapy for you. There are many different treatment options for breast cancer, and typically we treat patients in a multidisciplinary fashion. That means there are surgical options, sometimes we use radiation, sometimes we use chemotherapy, sometimes we use hormonal therapy. And the goal is to tailor the treatment for each individual patient to give them the best outcome. Now, there is an FDA-cleared test that can help make this vital determination. Mammoprint provides a low-risk or high-risk result for every patient tested. With Mammoprint, there is no ambiguity about an individual's risk, thereby helping you and your doctor determine the best course of treatment. Mammoprint is a breast cancer diagnostic test that can distinguish aggressive breast cancers from more slow-growing breast cancers. And Mammoprint does so by looking at the activity of 70 genes that can recognize high risk for recurrence breast cancers from low risk, which foretells the risk of recurrence of the patient at 10 years. Mammoprint's FDA clearance is of great benefit to the patient. A Mammoprint FDA clearance actually tells patients that Mammoprint fulfills the highest quality criteria as set by the FDA and also tells that it's safe to use, and it also tells that it is a meaningful diagnostic uh, in breast cancer diagnosis to be used for treatment decisions. Developed by Agendia, a Dutch company with U.S. offices in Orange County, California, Mammoprint is a significant advancement towards truly personalized cancer diagnosis and treatment. When I had my surgery, part of my tumor was sent to Mammoprint for testing. Um, two weeks later, my doctors received the results that I was a low risk. Um, they were able to discuss a treatment for me that was less invasive. Um, and I, had to, I was able to avoid chemotherapy. In addition to Mammoprint, Agendia offers other tests for breast cancer. So Agendia offers the breast cancer Symphony Suite. And Symphony Suite includes Mammoprint as well as other breast cancer tests like target print, blueprint, and theraprint. And this combination of tests further helps identify what is the optimal treatment for a patient. As a breast cancer survivor, Lisa Hill has a message for women who may be diagnosed. What I want women to know about breast cancer is not to be afraid to get checked. It is not a death sentence. I found a lump, I found it early, and I was able to be treated and cured. Mammoprint developed for women by a woman. Ask your doctor how Memoprint can help you develop a treatment plan tailored precisely to you. To learn more about Memoprint, visit agendia.com.